Hi boys and girls, welcome to our Bible lesson today. My name is teacher Susan from St. Barnabas Otiende. Let us pray. Dear God, we worship you and we give you glory and honor this morning. Thank you so much for the gift of life and good health and family and many other blessings that you have given us. We pray and thank you for this uh, time that we have to study your word. Help us, Lord, to be attentive and to understand all that you are going to teach us today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. My brother, just imagine a wonderful day that the Lord wants to share. We shall be stepping one by one into heaven. I'll never leave you anymore when I think of you. I feel so good that you're a mighty God. I'll never leave you anymore. My sister, just imagine a wonderful day that the Lord wants to share. We shall be stepping one by one into heaven. I'll never leave you anymore. When I think of you, I feel so good that you're a mighty God. I'll never leave you anymore. Today, our Bible story is from the book of Matthew chapter 24. Listen very carefully because I have very important news to share with you. The news is Jesus is coming again. Jesus lived on earth many, many years ago, and Jesus came to die for our sins. But Jesus did not remain dead. After three days, he rose again and went back to heaven where he lives with God the Father. God promised that Jesus will come back again, and God is faithful. God keeps all his promises. So when Jesus lived on earth, those many, many years ago, his friends, the disciples, had some questions for him. And Jesus is happy when we ask questions and he answers those questions. So Jesus' friends, the disciples, came and asked him when he would come back to earth to take charge of the whole world. And Jesus began to answer them. Jesus told them that before he comes, some really hard things must take place. Jesus told his friends that people would be mean to each other and especially to the children of God. But God would help his children to be very strong. Also, God would help spread the good news of Jesus to the whole world. Everybody would know about Jesus and that Jesus died for our sins. And then God, because God keeps all his promises, God would make sure that the hard days and the hard times do not stretch for a long time. Now, when Jesus comes back, everybody will see what happens. Like lightning in the sky. The people who love Jesus and believe in him will be very happy. But the people who have not believed in Jesus will be sad. Jesus wants every person to trust in him and to believe in him and to love him. Everyone will see what happens. When Jesus is coming back, he will come back with so much power and with great glory and with a loud trumpet sound, Jesus will send his angels into the whole world to gather all the people who have loved Jesus and trusted in him. And they will all come together and rejoice with Jesus. Jesus wants all people to love him. Jesus is coming back. God promised it and God is faithful. God keeps all his promises. 
you know, Matthew chapter 24 verse 44 says, The Son of Man will come. The Son of Man is Jesus. And God promised that Jesus will come back. God keeps all his promises. So we know Jesus will come back. No, but nobody knows the day that Jesus will come back. And nobody knows the hour that Jesus will come back. But Jesus told his friends to keep watch. Because Jesus wants everyone to be ready when he comes back. So children, it's a beautiful thing that Jesus will come back. Jesus is coming again. So I want us to say, Jesus is coming. Hooray! Jesus is coming again. On, on the count of three. One, two, three. Hooray! Jesus is coming again. Good. Now, let us look at our memory verse. Matthew chapter 24, verse 44. Matthew chapter 24, verse 44. The Son of Man will come at an hour when you do not expect him. But we are going to shorten it. Simply, the Son of Man will come. The Son of Man will come. The Son of Man, as I told you, is Jesus. So we know that Jesus is coming again. Matthew chapter 24, verse 44. The Son of Man will come. And that's the end of our Bible story, boys and girls. Thank you so much. We will see you again next time. For now, if you have your offering, please, um, you can give through the phone. Ask an adult near you to help you. Or you can come to church and give to God. Thank you so much. And bye-bye. Let us pray first. Father God, thank you so much for teaching us today that Jesus will come again. We pray that you help us to be ready, help us to love Jesus and to believe in him with all our hearts. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bye.